Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn about message boxes in Qt. So let's get started. What I have done is I have created a sample project whose name I have given is Q message box example. And what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to go to my main window.ui file and I'm going to pick a push button here and then I'm going to just change the text of it and I will just say show a message and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my push button and I will just uh, choose this option which says uh, go to slot and I'm going to choose the first option which says click okay till here you know uh, how everything works right so you are just choosing the slot for your push button and whenever you push your button this function is going to be called now whenever this button is called for example you want to show some message so there is a class called q message box which you can use to display some messages so let's see how we can use them so first of all you need to include a class called q message box so just include a class called q message box first of all and now we uh, can uh, you know use message box class uh, in our push button click function so how uh, we can use it so just write q message box first of all and then we have some uh, member functions so first member function here is about so this is one kind of message which you can uh, show using this message box class and it basically takes uh, three argument first is the parent of this class so parent of this class is uh, this class itself the second is the title of your uh, message box so for example you can just write my title and then the third argument is the message itself so you can just give your custom message here so this is my custom message okay so just save your code and uh, run it so i'm going to save it and i'm going to build my code and uh, when it runs we are going to check what it's uh, doing so now my code is running and when i click uh, show message button it shows me this kind of about message uh, dialogue here okay and you can click ok and once again it shows this message so here is the title which we have given my title and this here is the uh, custom message which we have given here right now there are a different kind of messages you can uh, you know show using this message box class so let's see what are these types of messages so i'm going to just provide you the list of messages so this is the list of messages which you can use in q message box class or using q message box class so first type of message is uh, this about which is this one second type of message is about qt so this is going to give you the information about the qt so let's uh, use this uh, function and uh, it takes only two argument you don't need to give any uh, third argument because we don't want to show our custom message we just want to uh, you know show the uh, title and about qt information so just save your code and run it once again and once it runs you just click the show message button and it shows this kind of information about your Qt uh, framework. So you can see Qt version 5.6 is used and all the information about Qt. Okay. The third message here is critical, which returns a standard button. First two uh, type of messages or functions return void but from the third it returns uh, the standard button so third message we are going to use which is this one and in here it also takes uh, basically three argument but you can uh, also give it a fourth optional argument 
So let's give this message. This is my custom message once again and then save your code and run it once again and when I run it it's going to show me this kind of critical uh, message with this critical uh, you know icon right so let's uh, choose the other kind of messages also information so you can just use information here and run your code again and it's going to show you the information message with this i icon here information icon here right whatever message you want to show here there is fourth kind of message which is question and let's run this uh, really fast and once it runs you can see it's a question uh, you know, message kind of thing okay so this uh, question message you can see there are two buttons here yes or no so it's kind of a question asked to the user whether you want to uh, you know uh, follow the question or you want to you know don't follow the question and say no okay now let's see the last uh, option which is warning and just run our code and it's going to show you the warning uh, icon in the message which is this one okay so these are the type of uh, message boxes uh, you can use in Qt. Now uh, these four uh, message box function critical information uh, question and warning returns this uh, standard button uh, as a, a return value whenever you call these functions and they also takes a fourth argument as an optional argument right. So these are the three arguments which are mandatory but the fourth argument is uh, optional. So for example, I want to use this uh, question um, uh, function to ask some question to the user. So first, second and third uh, argument will remain the same here but the fourth argument here can be the question to the user. So how we can ask the question? I'm going to split this function in two lines and in here you just need to write Q message box once again and there is a custom enum here called yes okay or just uh, give this or symbol or this pipe here and then just write Q message box and now whenever you uh, will run your code it's going to ask you uh, this question whether you want to do something or not and it's going to show you these two uh, options yes or no and uh, it returns the value in the form of uh, this standard but so what you can do here is you can uh, just uh, declare a standard button so for example i will just uh, call this Q message box once again so just write Q message box and then call a method or uh, the class called uh, standard button and then you can say reply from the message box okay so this is the reply which you can uh, return from the message box I'm going to make it a little bit smaller or I will just split this function in few parts so can, you can see all the code here okay so it's returning uh, this reply in the form of standard button and using this reply you can perform some uh, action so for example if this button replies yes so just write reply is equal to message box yes so if uh, the user presses yes here what you can do you can uh, for example quit the application right so I'm going to just call a function quit okay and then we are going to quit our application but uh, let me call Q application quit just write Q application quit something like this okay this function will quit your uh, application right else you want to show something so for example else we want to display something so we can use uh, 
Q debug for debug some information. So just write Q debug. It's like uh, C out in normal C++ language. So you can use to dump any uh, you know string or anything here. Yeah. So for example, we can just say no is clicked. Okay, and then just close it. So what it's going to do is it's going to ask a question to the user and whenever user chooses some button is going to perform some action on the basis of the button pressed by the user. So I'm going to run this uh, code really quick and let's see what happens. So it's showing us the problem here and it's so showing me this uh, message which says uh, invalid operand of type this 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 so uh, I forgot to give these brackets here first of all and I also need to include this Q debug in uh, here in the header so just include uh, Q debug first of all just call Q debug okay so once you include Q debug and uh, you call this uh, you know Q debug with brackets let's run the code and let's see if it runs or not and hopefully the application will run and now when I press this uh, show message button it asks the user this question you can uh, you know display any custom message so for example you can display do you want to quit the application and if the customer or user uh, clicks yes it's going to uh, quit the application but first click no let's uh, click no and let's see if it displays uh, no is clicked message on the console or not. Okay, so we'll click no. And you can see uh, it's showing no is clicked here, right? Once again, when I uh, click the button and this time when I click yes, it quits the application. Okay, so in this way also you can, uh, you know, use this uh, Q message uh, functions to uh, return some value or ask some uh, question to the user and when user decide to press some button on the basis of uh, button pressed you can uh, you know perform some actions using these kind of codes okay and this reply you can use with critical information question and warning about doesn't support this uh, option because about is just the information there's no question asked there okay so in this way you can use uh, q message box in qt i hope you enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now